Yeah, so uh, because of all the severe weather across the country, I think we can handle our uh, cloud coverage that we have <laughs> yes, here. Can't yeah. complain. No. Really, when you hear those kinds of stories of triple digit heat in yeah. other parts of the country, it is almost unbelievable mm -hmm. just because of how mild the last two months have been on us. You know, it's so far from us and we've been so mild in terms of our temperatures that we have to be reminded that other parts of the country are experiencing that kind of heat. We have none of it in our forecast. We are easing up on our onshore winds and what that means for us is a very brief stretch today and tomorrow and a very mild warming trend for today and tomorrow as well as clearing trend. So marine layer clouds are not as dense as they have been for past mornings as we start off our Tuesday. Wednesday is going to follow suit and you can see how these are mainly westerly winds, but there's a bit of a northwesterly component attached to it as well. Trough of low pressure that's pretty far off from us is not affecting us much. You can see how right now we are in that warmer range, seeing more of the influence from a ridge of high pressure that's off to the southeast of us. But Another trough of low pressure is going to sink down. That's going to reinvigorate that marine layer by the end of the week. It's going to uh, cool our temperatures down. So yes, for now, today and tomorrow, things are pretty mild overall. It feels a bit more like summer out there, or at least closer to summer, which officially begins tomorrow. However, by the end of the week, going into Friday, especially as that trough makes its approach onto land, it will cool us down, reinvigorate that marine layer for the end of the week and the early weekend. Next week, however, as this exits off to our northeast, we will likely see more influence from this ridge of high pressure. I know you can't really see it much, but that's what's building off to our southeast. And if we do see the influence of that, well, then we finally will start to feel a lot more summer like weather come to fruition. Afternoon highs are in the 70s, 71 for Carlsbad, 73 for Oceanside. Still a couple upper 60s for spots like Del Mar, but they're going to be few and far between. Notice yesterday, Ramona and El Cajon only made it to 75. Today they're going for 78, Campo 79. And the thing is, those winds continue to weaken tomorrow for our Wednesday. And what that's going to mean is even warmer temperatures, even more mild conditions out there. There is a very good likelihood that for tomorrow afternoon, our eastern valleys will make it into the 80s. So aside from the coastline, especially, we're seeing very summer like weather, you could say along the coast. However, that sea breeze is still affecting us, keeping us cooler than average and still keeping us socked in for the most part. We're really not seeing complete clearing, but we are usually each afternoon seeing some partial clearing along the coastline. So here's your eight day between now and next week. You notice that the coast doesn't do much changing. We will around Tuesday, Wednesday, looks like even beyond that of next week, start to get a bit more sunshine and a bit warmer widespread 80s possible this time next week. But between now and the end of the week, we are going to get that little bit of a cool down, and that's going to be because of that next trough of low pressure. Tomorrow morning is the summer solstice, the official start of summer. Uh, it's going to feel like it for tomorrow afternoon if you're not along the coast, especially. But then we'll cool down by the end of the week. That marine layer will come back, so cloudy skies again. And then into next week, we'll get a more substantial, uh, likely longer lasting warm up that's on the way. Watch out for that wind across the mountains and deserts again. It's below criteria level for today, but it is still breezy. And then we'll see those winds continue to die down into tomorrow. Carrie?